Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, somebody was asking me if, um, you know, at the end of Windows 10, when the computer that uh, some of you have, a lot of you have, you know, unsupported hardware for Windows 11, if um, going unsupported Windows 11 is going to be allowed, and if it would be a good thing. Personally, if you are capable of doing it, um, I actually would say go ahead. Remember that Windows 11 has two years for each version. So, you know, when end of support arrives, if you want to keep that machine, you have more than two years probably, but I mean, by that time, if you install, which will be probably like 25 H2, uh, you will actually extend automatically your PC two years yeah, it's not unsupported, and after two years, you got to kind of find a way to reinstall Windows 11 to continue to two more years, but but it extends your machine, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work fine. Uh, some people are asking me, do you think Microsoft could decide that Windows 11 will not support um, unsupported hardware at some point? because of they want us to move on to new hardware, new Windows, like Windows 12 that will be next year. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure Microsoft will never touch the unsupported hardware um, capability. They would get a lot of backlash, I think, if they, they did that. And they understand that, too. One of the main reasons why the image that you download from Microsoft does allow some form of unsupported hardware to be installed on. I think they totally understand that, yeah, we're blocking, but, but let's give some slack. And if some want to do it, you know, we can't promise you anything, but it, you know, you can do it. And I think that's going to continue for as long as Windows 11 is going to exist. The other question comes from Windows 12. Is Windows 12 going to allow that? Now, that's another question, another story. Um, it depends always on how it is done. Um, if it is, you know, right now, the, the way that the unsupported is checked is mainly at the install phase, where it you, there's a minimum requirement that's being checked. And if you do pass that, then install continues. That can all be removed. You can install Windows 11 on pretty much anything Windows 10. But um, on Windows 12, they could change that game. They could change it into a way that, you know, the operating system itself will refuse to run for some reason without some, you know, hardware. Uh, but on Windows 11, I think that's going to work fine. And I think a lot of people, and I wouldn't be surprised that actually a lot of unsupported machines will continue running past 2025 on Windows 11 unsupported and it's going to work fine. I got the Toshiba here. That Toshiba works better on Windows 11 I think than Windows 10 actually. So it gives you an idea of, of how efficient and good it is even on old machines. So that a lot of that's going to happen. Um, you know people want to be on Windows. Uh, there is no such thing as people moving on to Linux. Uh, it it doesn't work like that. People want Windows because that's what you know drives them to do what they want. Um, especially if you do spe you know a lot of things that are out of the ordinary, uh, like I do. Uh, you know, Windows is the way to go most of the time. But I I wouldn't be surprised, and I would I would honestly at in in you know October 2025, I'll probably you know, make a series of videos saying here's how to go unsupported and how to do it on your own to help everybody install Windows 11 unsupported and, and continue having more mileage off of their PCs because, I mean, it's a good working PC and you don't see why you want to change it. It's totally understandable. And you know what? You can still continue using it. So, uh, you know, there are options out there. And I think that some people will go that way. Of course, we always have to think that, you know, we're still two years off. It's uh, two years as long in the PC world. Remember that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.